गाइस हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप ऑल आर गुड सो वेलकम टू आवर रेजर पे सीरीज व्हिच इज इन इंग्लिश ओके सो लास्ट टाइम वी हैव सीन इन रेजर पे ओनली लाइक हाउ यू कैन यूज मींस हाउ यू कैन यूज रेजर पे और हाउ यू कैन इंटीग्रेट रेजर पे इन योर वेबसाइट और इन योर एनी एप्लीकेशन ओके सो देयर व्हाट वी आर डूइंग uh we have created one form one simple form then whatever the data whatever the amount we are paying here that that means we have, we have integrated that here in this form okay you can take your any application form in this form i'm telling you can take any application form for example i'm taking this form right now okay so in last video what we have done uh, we were doing payment and you can see here uh, by using this controller function we we were doing the payment and we were storing the this payment data in database okay we have seen we are storing here in database okay which is when payment gets success that time we are storing okay why the database is important because uh, if you are doing any payment and if I, if there is any transaction fail network error whatever what that error may be anything okay and your payment got fail so that time you can easily track your payment list what is happening uh, at what day whom had done payment for example you have any uh, any services you are providing and there is one payment gateway and they have done payment your clients your customers they have done payment but it got trans transaction got fail okay they will come to you and they will tell like i have done payment but it got uh fail so that time if you have this data you can easily ask them you can ask them payment id so when they will tell payment id that time you can easily track here uh, at what date they have done payment and what is the payment how much is the payment and what is the status of that payment whether it is failed or success that you can easily track so database is very important okay in any application okay then uh, last time we have seen how we can store the success data in database means success uh, payment pool sorry uh, payment success transaction uh, in database that we have seen in last time okay so today what we will see suppose if you are doing payment and if we, if it get fails then how you can store that in database or how you can handle that that we are seeing today okay so this is my index file you can see you know already this is my index file where i'm taking the amount and here see here this is for my success ajax call and here i have written this is for my payment failure ajax call okay so csf token i have given then payment failed route i'm calling here and i'm passing the payment id and amount to the controller okay you can see this is my web.php file where you can see here there is a payment fail route is there that's that route only i'm using in index file and this is my .env file where i'm using my database name is payment and username is route okay i hope i told everything and uh, in last video also i have told everything okay but once again i am re repeating everything now i'll come i am taking i will check which controller i am taking so i am con i am taking razor pay controller 1 so i will come here razor pay controller 1 hmm okay see from index blade file as i told you this this i am calling for payment success then for payment failure we need to go here payment fail data and here we are call we, we are using uh, token let's say sap token then this ajax we are using to send data from a blade file to controller okay so i'm taking here payment id then the amount whatever the amount is there this uh, where it is this amount that amount i am taking here okay then from this function we are okay we are taking the amount and that we are transferring to controller that amount we are getting here in control because we are doing request and we are taking both the data see i have done here dollar input request all means it will fetch all the data from front okay it will request all the data then that data we are 
that data we are requesting here right dollar request payment id we want user id we have given manually then amount we are requesting and b event id is also have given manually that is failed means if the payment is failed it will store where failed and if the payment is success it will store success you can give one or zero so it is just to understand just for understanding purpose okay then payment dollar uh, sorry colon uh, insert get id dollar payment info means what it will do it will store whatever this it will store this all data in this table column okay for that this we are using then this is session we are using and we are returning the response okay that is payment failed okay so this now we'll check so what we'll do now we'll do now payment full and one more thing you need to remember we are using here is a p p a p a p a and uh, session also i'm taking here okay because i have used session and uh, if you want more videos you can visit our channel i have done lots of videos regarding razor pay and how to do success payment successful transaction how we can do and how we can store that in database for that also i have done video just you can visit your channel you will get all the videos okay now we will try the our experiment okay so what i am doing now i am doing two rupees pay payment of two rupees so i'll do pay then inspect because i want to show the return response format okay so i'll do net banking icici then payment i'm doing here failure so we'll check what response we'll get i'll go payment failure then preview see here i got the response that is payment failed you can see here there is payment fail means it got success payment failed response we got and the status is success okay so if i go in my database and if i check so what i will do see here i got payment failed two rupees right and this is my payment id you can see the date also 842 timing also here also you can see 843 it is so our payment failed transaction is also successful now so like this you can store the payment failed data in your database okay so i hope you got this all the points and suppose if you have any questions regarding this then please comment in comment box so we'll answer to that and if you have any errors with you or if you're doing any coding and all and if you're facing any error then please comment in comment box uh, we will we will grateful to help you so please comment in comment box okay and if you are liking our channel then please like share and support to us thank you so much everyone thank you for supporting